2016 starting off right. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, aka Wanderblush here on YouTube. And today, I'm really excited because I am doing my first collaboration video with someone who is not directly right here with me. Um, her name is Jessie McMaster. I met Jessie while she was on a shift at a restaurant because I saw this cool freaking sign that said yoga and beer. You do a session of yoga and then you get a beer afterwards. And I thought that's everything I want in my day. And then I met her, she was working at the time, and we started talking and she's really, really cool. She is a personal trainer and she's also an incredible yoga instructor. I took her class uh, just the other day and we got to talking and we decided we wanted to do a video together. So although Jessie is not here with me, um, I hope you enjoy her segment of the video as well. Together, we are creating a video that is how to get your morning started off healthy in 2016. I know that for me, my mornings are best started when I kind of give myself a little bit of prep the night before. I know I'm a nerd. Jessie's segment of the video you'll see is her easiest ways to get yourself started off right in the morning to really help you throughout your day. These are just a couple of methods that Jessie and I use to really set ourselves up for a great day. I hope you enjoy. Make sure that you subscribe to both my channel and Jessie's channel. Check out hers and, and her methods of breathing right and just different yoga routines and healthy ways of living. Check out her blog, which all of it will be listed here and down below. Make sure you check her out and give her some love and and let her know that you came over because you saw this video and give this video a share as well that would be great and make sure you also subscribe to me Wanda Blush become a wanderer today and follow me on social media and see what I get up to in my day-to-day -day. without further ado here we go favorite things to do the night before either a day of work or something where I know I have to get a lot of things done is writing a list. I've realized that every time I write a to-do list and I stick to it and I leave the list right out in front of me so it's the first thing I see in the morning, I will get things done. I'm not the type of person that likes to write it on my phone, which hey, if you like doing that, go for it. But when I can actually write a list down on a piece of paper, like old school style, and then cross it off, it is the best feeling. Um, by doing so, I don't look at any, I try not to look at any screens at least 20 to 30 minutes before I go to sleep because it calms my eyes, but at the same time, I, I am using my brain to think about how I want the next day to be productive or how I just want the next day to go as smooth as possible and to be as productive as possible. The next thing that I love doing to help me feel really productive for the next morning is to lay my clothes out the night before. I feel like I learned this when I was a kid and I've just taken it into my adulthood and I never want to stop. If I have a day where I know I'm getting up early, the last thing I want to do is be thinking about what I'm wearing the next day. I will lay out everything from my shirt to my socks, my underwear, I will lay out everything just so I don't have to think, especially if I hit that snooze button a couple times. And the last thing that I do that I really think helps me get ready for my day and to just feel productive is I, I, I hate mess and I'm starting to become a messy person so I find myself cleaning the room a lot. Now I am in here with another person, I am in here with my boyfriend so it is it gets very messy very quickly but what I like to do is I clean it as much as possible at least so there's I can see the floor and so I put away the shoes I'll put laundry in the laundry basket I'll just close things up the next day I wake up to a clean room and that's one less thing that I have to worry about for the next morning good morning let's start our day off right just stand feet about hip distance apart you can rock forward and back, feel your toes, the balls of your feet, your heels, outsides, insides, rock side to side. Take a big breath in, lengthen your spine, reach up to the crown of your head, and a big breath out, roll your shoulders back and down. Do that again, a big breath in, just stand nice and tall. Wake up your body, and a big breath out, roll the shoulders back and down. Go ahead and reach your arms up over your head. Bend at the elbows, grab opposite wrists, forearms, elbows, whatever feels good. Make sure you get your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in, long, long spine. As you exhale, just go to one side. Try to drop one elbow towards the floor as the other elbow opens up towards the ceiling. Maybe even kick your hips out a little bit and breathe into that open rib cage. 
Breathe into that open armpit. <sighs> Come back to center. Other side. Hips go over as you reach up to the opposite side and you just breathe into that open rib cage, that open armpit. <sighs> Do it again, big breath in, keep the spine long. So we're not crunching, we're just opening and lifting. Maybe it's just a little bit. Come back to center. Release your hands, open the arms out wide, back and around, open up the chest. Turn towards your bed. Get about maybe three or four feet away. Put a bend in your knees, step your feet out wider than hip distance. You're gonna fold over your bed. Arms are gonna come forward, palms flat on your bed. You just want the bed to be at about your elbows. And you're gonna bend one knee and then bend the other. Begin to open up the hips. Maybe even shake the hips side to side. Big breaths here. And then we're gonna take this into cat counts. So inhale, feel length in your spine. Send your sit bones back and really you can keep as much of a bend in your knees as you need to. As you exhale, press into your hands, round your spine, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, release to a neutral spine. Feel like you're melting your heart towards the floor. Exhale, round, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. Inhale, neutral spine, open up the chest. Exhale, round, maybe even come up to your tiptoes this time, really round the back. Do it again, inhale, bend your knees, send your tailbone back, melt your heart down. Exhale, round. Let's do two more, inhale, long spine. Exhale, round, stretch the vertebrae, tuck the chin, get the neck nice and long. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, release the heels down if they were up. Get that little spine nice and long. I want you to bend your right knee and reach your left hand to your right ankle. Relax your head. You can turn the head side to side and breathe. Keep that right arm long on your bed. You can even kind of crawl it up and over. You could look under that right armpit and really get that lower back twist. Take a big breath. Gently release the left hand back to the bed. Bend the left knee, right arm's gonna come down and you're just gonna grab the outside of that left leg somewhere. Stretching that left arm long, look under that left armpit, breathe. <sighs> we don't wanna push too hard. <sighs> We're just using our breath to help open us up. Two more breaths here. I want you to bring your arms out wider, palms spread out, or fingers spread out wide, our palms are flat on the bed. And kind of turn your head side to side. Shake your head yes and no. Breathe in. Know that today is going to be a great day because you started off right. Maybe wiggle the hips around. Find some freedom in your movements. One more big breath. And then you bend your knees. Tuck your tailbone. Roll it up. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Roll the shoulders back. Open up the chest. Exhale. Ah. Put a big smile on your face because you know you're starting your day off right. These are just a couple of ways that both Jesse and I think that you can start off your days in 2016 really, really positively and just get you going to a good start of your day. No matter what the day brings, no matter what challenges or, or things that you succeed in, no matter what happens in the day, these are just our ways that can help you get started and they're helping us. And these are definitely ways that we are trying to really implement in our lives to just help us feel like the, our best selves in the morning. So we hope you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends. Check out, subscribe, and, and share the love, guys, for both Jesse and I. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Love, 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 love. And don't forget to peace, love, and subscribe. Why not? It's 2016. Be bold. Okay, bye.